Hi, welcome back. Today, I want to take a moment and do a hip opener. This is really, really important for the pelvic floor. Uh, when we have tight hips, it really pulls on that pelvic floor connection and just makes it a little bit more difficult. So this is a great way to um, for your pelvic health and to keep your hips a little bit looser, which always makes us more efficient in our day-to-day -day life. So you're gonna lay yourself on down all the way down onto your back. Feet are gonna start um, flat on the mat, knees are bent. What I want you to do is, of course, check that neutral pelvis. I don't want you curving into the mat. So put that dime in, make sure your fingers and thumb are in the same plane. We're gonna start with your left leg. You're gonna take that left leg and you're gonna rotate it out to the side and bring it back up. Beautiful, we're gonna do that again. The goal is that your pelvis doesn't move. A lot of times as people start to roll their leg out, they rotate with it. That was a really exaggerated version, but that's what I want you to be aware of. So put your hands on those hips, really make sure your pelvis stays nice and still and find that rotation. Beautiful, let's do one more. Only go as far as you can control that pelvis. Beautiful, left leg stay still, now go to the right. We're gonna do two more. And five, beautiful. Widen your feet. So now that your feet are wider than your hips, and we're gonna go internally. So go back to your left leg and rotate in, and bring it back out. Do that again. In, two, three. And it's okay if your heel moves, as long as your pelvis doesn't move. I'm not gonna have you not move anything. That would be way too hard. Beautiful. Now do the right. Check in, is one side easier than the other? It's always interesting. Two more. Four. And five, beautiful. Go ahead and roll yourselves on up. Quick hip opener, really great just to kind of get them moving a little bit. Hope it helps. Till next time, bye now.